Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at a problem based on velocity time graph. So here the problem reads, the velocity time graph of a moving body is given below. Find the displacement of the body at point B, the displacement of the body from point B to C and the third bit is the displacement of the body from point C to D. So here we have a velocity time graph from which we need to calculate all these three displacements. So how it is done? Let us see. So the first bit is we need to find here the displacement of the body at point B that is this point in the graph. Now we know that we can find the displacement of a body at any point by calculating the area under the graph. So now here since we need to calculate the displacement of the body at this point, we need to calculate the area under the graph AB, which is this area. The, this area of the shaded region gives us the displacement of the body at point B. So now we will be finding out this area by dividing it into two parts. That is the upper part, which is a triangular area and the lower part, the remaining part, which is a rectangular area. So we will be calculating these two areas and then adding them up, which gives us the total value of the displacement at point B. So for that, let us take two points F and B. Point F represents this point and point E represents this point where the rectangle touches the X axis. So now let us calculate the displacement in this procedure. So as I said, the displacement is given by the area under the graph AB, which is this whole area. And the displacement is given by the sum of the areas of the triangle ABF, that is this yellow triangle, and the area of the rectangle, which is OAFE, that is this pink rectangle. So we know that the area of the triangle is given by the formula, which is half into base into height, and the area of the rectangle is given by the formula length into breadth. Now in this triangle, let us say AF is our base and BF is our height. And for this rectangle, OE is the length of this rectangle and OA is the breadth of this rectangle. So let us put these things in the formula. So we have the area of the triangle ABF as half into AF, which is the base of the triangle into BF which is the height of this triangle plus length into breadth. So here length is OE into breadth which is OA of this rectangle. Now we need to figure out the values of all these four that is AF, BF, OA and OE from the graph itself. So how to do that? Let us see. Now for AF we know that AF is this length. Now this length will be exactly equal to this length from X axis because these two are the opposite sides of the rectangle and they, they must be equal in length. Now we see that OE equals 3 seconds because E touches X axis at 3. So OE will be equal to 3 seconds. Therefore AF will also be equal to 3 seconds. So here AF is 3 seconds. Now we need to find BF. In order to find BF, we can subtract um, FE from BE. So BE minus FE gives us BF. So here BE equals 60 meters per second and FE equals 30 meters per second from the graph. So on uh, subtracting these two, we get the value of BF as 30 meters per second. Now, OA here is equal to 30 meters per second, which is clearly apparent from this graph. And OE, as we have discussed uh, a few minutes ago, is 3, me 3 seconds. Yes. So we have now all the values that we need to substitute in this expression. So let's substitute all the values and get the value of displacement. So the displacement becomes half into 3 into 30 plus 30 into 3. 
So this yields 45 plus 90 which is 135 meters. So here up to point B the body has covered a displacement of 135 meters. Now let's solve the second bit. The second bit says we need to find the displacement of the body from point B to point C. So as we did before we need to uh, find out the area under the graph and since we need to find the displacement of the body from point B to C we will be considering this area which is under BC. So uh, when we find the area of this rectangle it gives us the value of displacement from point P to C. So for that let us take two points H to be this point and G to be this point. So here our main aim is to find the displacement which is the area under the graph PC which equals the area of the rectangle BCGH which is in shade green. So we know that the, the area of the rectangle formula which is length into breadth. So let's go ahead and apply it directly. So here BH is the length of the rectangle and GH is the breadth of the rectangle. So on multiplying these two we will be getting the displacement of the body from point B to C. So let us figure out what is BH and GH from the graph itself. So BH in this case is 60 meters per second since this line connects uh, point B to the y axis which touches y axis at 60. So BH will be equal to 60 meters per second and GH here is clearly apparent which is uh, OG minus OH. Now OG is 6, 6 because G touches x axis at 6 seconds and OH is 3 since H touches uh, x axis at 3 seconds. So the value of o, OH is 3 seconds. Now GH will be OG minus OH which is 6 minus 3 that is 3 seconds again. So on multiplying BH and GH we get 60 multiplied by 3 which is 180 meters. So from point B to point C the body has covered 180 meters. Now let's go ahead and solve the th third bit. That is we need to find here the displacement of the body from point C to D. Now point C to D is this graph. So in order to find displacement from C to D, we need to find the area under CD which is this triangular area in shade blue in the graph. So in order to do that, let us take this point to be I which touches X axis. Now the displacement in this case is area under the graph CD which is the area of the triangle CID which is a right angle triangle. And we know that the area of this triangle is half base into height. Here base we will be taking as uh, DI and height we will be taking as CI. So on applying the formula using this uh, DI and CI, we have the area of the triangle is half into CI into DI. Now we need to calculate the value of CI and DI from the graph itself. Here it is clearly apparent that the value of CI is 60 meters per second and the value of DI is OD minus OI. So when we subtract OD uh, minus OI, we get the value of DI. So here OD is 8 seconds and OI is 6 seconds. So the value of DI will be equal to 2 seconds. Now on uh, putting these values in the formula, we get half into 60 into 2 as the displacement which yields 30 into 2 that is 60 meters. So the body has covered 60 meters from point C to point D here. So this was the end of the solution of the problem. I hope this problem was understandable to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.